thank you all for coming. I, I, when we were trying to figure out how to lay this out, I, I kind of looked at these uh, banners that we built of the, of the years of doing cassettes, and, and it's, it is amazing how fast it goes, but it is amazing that uh, any business can last 100 years. And, uh, and, and you just don't do that by accident. It's, it's really a lot of people, a lot of community, a lot of support. Five years ago, a new journey started for Cassetta. The planning of an expansion. The project was started, the name, Alimentari. The vision, a two-story building expansion connected to our existing structure that would include an expanded market with an Italian bakery and rosticeria. I know you guys don't know what that means, so they sound really good, don't I? <laughs> That's a rotisserie shop. An Italian designed, built, and constructed pasticeria. Pat Harris likes saying that one. So does Tom Hanish. <laughs> Pastry shop and an Italian restaurant with a rooftop piazza. That is, that is the vision now. 100 years ago, Michael Cassetta, the founder and my great-grandfather, had a different vision. To leave his home from a small town in Calabria, Italy, and come to St. Paul and start a business called Cassetta. On the corner of Chestnut and Ryan, just, about, just above St. Paul's Little Italy, known as the Levee, he started a tradition of food and hospitality that would last for generations to come. Four generations, to be exact. Michael's daughter, Mary, and then son, Frank, my grandfather, would be next in line to not just carry the torch, but to add their vision on this brand, Cassetta. I am humbled and honored with great pride today to unveil to St. Paul Cassetta's future vision Alimentari. Though with great excitement introducing the next generation of Cassetta, comes some sadness. Two people who were larger than life influences in Cassetta's could not be here today. Frank Cassetta, my, my grandfather, and uh, Mama C, Teddy Cassetta, my mother. Though they have passed, they will live in what Cassetta stands for forever. About two days ago, my wife and I were over here picking up pizza, and I, uh, I just happened to think to, to in my way back machine of uh, my first uh, years when I when I had first moved into West Seventh Street, and we'd walk across the park to go see Frankie and and buy uh, buy hot sausage from him. Uh, those were the days, and I, I still remember Dave being this young kid. Oh, it seemed, he seemed younger than he is now, but, uh, you know, and, and Frankie saying, go out in the basement, pick up this and get that, and order him around, and, and that's probably why he's kind of edgy now. <laughs> anyway, how often can you support a project that goes back generations and generations of people that made a commitment and a contribution to, to our own neighborhood? And that's, that's what we've got here. And actually, it, it cuts across so many lines. Uh, you know, the construction company, uh, employees that have long, long-standing roots back in the community. And, and I think that's what this is all about. West 7th Street is an incredibly wonderful community. And it's a growing community. And, and when, Dave, when you first, uh, you know, mentioned this thing, actually you mentioned two or three other things before that, but you finally settled on this thing, um, it, it's just the you can't help but support it. It's a, it's a vision. It's a good business plan. It's incredibly wonderful architecture. And it's all about community. So, Dave, thank you very much for continuing to be uh, you know, contributing to this neighborhood and never forgetting it, never forgetting where you came from. And so we will never forget where you, where you are either. Thank you, Dave. One, two, three. There you go.